Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going with Q2 of the Weekly Contest 271, Sum of Subway Ranges. Um, this one's a little bit awkward, to be honest, for me, if you ask me. Um, so take this opportunity to hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this poem. The reason why I say this is a little bit awkward is because I believe there is a linear time solution, I want to say. I feel like I've solved this problem before, uh, maybe on another judge or something, where it is a linear time solution. Um, but but that's not what's needed here because it is a Q2 on lead code, and we look at constraint n is 1000, though that's a little tight for certain languages, especially Python, um, depending on how they do it. Um, so n square is going to be fast enough, and I did it with n square. Um, I'm not going to show the the linear time one. Um, mm, for up solving, definitely let, uh, join the Discord, let me know. But uh, just to kind of give a little bit of spoiler on that, uh, if you want to up solve it without kind of too much hand guiding. Um, is uh, using um, hmm, is it using one of the mono stack situations um, to calculate. Um, the idea behind that is just for each number, calculate the number of times it is the min and the can calculate the number of times that it is the max in a subway way um, by going to the left and going to the right and, and calculate that out. And then in theory, you should be able to get a linear time. But maybe I'm wrong on that one, to be frank, um, because there are... I don't know how to handle necessarily uh, dupes, but I guess if you just handle it at least, or at most once, maybe that's fine. I don't know. Uh, so there were a lot of nuance and trickiness to that, part, uh, which is why I didn't do it that way during the contest. And I ended up taking a little bit longer than I would like because I think I got confused about it. Uh, like I was debating whether I needed to do linear time, um, which also shows you how uh, maybe how little lead code cares about us Python people because even for n equals a thousand, I have to worry about time limit exceeded, which it's a learned response. It's not me like being a little bit too paranoid. Uh, and n square for n equals a thousand is good enough for pretty much every judge. Uh, in Python, in lead code, I'm a little bit worried. Maybe I should have changed to Java, I don't know. But anyway, the idea is that um, on the n square one, um, you should be able to familiar with this. This is only a couple of for loops, you know, you could say that about dynamic programming and other things, so maybe that's not true. But that said, um, this is one of those things where, okay, there are n square number of subarrays, right? The idea is doing it in a way such that um, you, you reuse um, we use calculation as much as you can, almost like dynamic programming type thing, though not exactly. The idea here is that, um, let's say we only care about the prefix and not the inner subarrays, then then it should be trivial to, to see that you just calculate the rowing, right? What's the min of the first item? What's the max of the first item? I mean, that's, that's true. That's uh, the base case. Um, and then what's the max of the first two items? What's the min of the first two items? So... By, by that logic, we just basically start at every i, and then for every i, we go, you know, like a, uh, like a, 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 a cumulative prefix type thing, where you just keep on uh, looking at the smallest and the largest and so forth, and then um, and you get the delta, and then that's it. Um, yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. This is n square o of one space. Uh, yeah, that's pretty straightforward for me. So yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, you can watch me solve a live during the contest next.
a second. Better not time out. It's only one million. Uh, it's gonna time out. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, especially if you like these contests. Um, there's a lot of smart people sharing the beautiful code there, uh, and also me. But uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's, that's what I have. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health, take care of yourself, take care of others if you get a chance, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.